Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about breadth first search uh, or BFS in graph. Okay, so BFS in graph is quite similar to BFS in binary tree. Okay, here's the link. Uh, you can visit this link to read about BFS in uh, binary tree. We have a separate video on that. I leave the link in the description. And so first, uh, let's understand um, what is BFS. So BFS is an algorithm for traversing or searching tree or graph data structures. It starts a tree node or uh, tree root and explore all the neighbors node first before moving to the next level neighbors. Okay. So let's take a few examples. Um, so for, for example, we have a graph here, um, the zero and then one, two, three, and four okay so when we do the bfs bfs means first we are covering the breadth okay so if we start from zero so zero is covered and then we'll cover all the nodes which we can traverse from zero so which is one and three so one three and then two four okay so this is bfs in DFS, which is depth first search, we go to the depth first, okay? So if we start from zero, we go to one, and then we'll keep going to two. Now we cannot go further. We'll come back and then visit three and four. So DFS is zero, one, two, three, four, okay? So that's why it is saying it starts from the root explore all the neighbor nodes first before moving to the next level neighbors so uh, for example here if we start from zero right so from zero we'll visit all the nodes uh, which we can traverse from uh, this node zero so from zero we can go to one we can go to two okay so zero two one this order doesn't matter. You can go to one first or you can go to two first. Okay, so zero, two, one. Now we are done with zero. Okay, and then we'll pick another node. Um, so between one and two. So if we pick one, so from one, we can go to two, but two is already traversed from zero. So we'll go to three. So that is three. Now we are done with zero and one then we'll pick two from two we can go only to three but three is already visited so we'll skip that so now we are done with zero one two now three so from three we can go to four okay so four and from four we can go to uh, zero which is visited one which is visited and five so five right and once we are at five we cannot traverse anywhere from five so this is our bfs so let's see how we can uh, do, do the bfs so for bfs we use q okay always remember when we talk about bfs we use q and when we talk about dfs we use stack okay so uh, we'll maintain a queue so let's say we have a queue here this is our uh, queue and uh, one big difference between bfs in tree and bfs in graph is that um, um, in um, B in graph we can have cycles okay so for example um, from one uh, in this example so one big difference between bfs and graph and bfs and tree is uh, in graph we can have cycles okay so for example here from one we can go to two two we can go to three three we can go to four and four we can go to one so this is one cycle okay so um, 
and if we do the BFS, uh, we can you know um, we can end up in cycles, endless cycles. So it is important um, to keep track of the nodes which we have visited already in graph. In tree, there are no cycles. Okay, so we don't need to keep track of uh, visited nodes. But in graph, it is important. So for that, we will keep we'll take a boolean array of the same size as number of vertices. So we'll here we'll have six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. Five. Okay. So. Okay, so let's say we start from zero. So if it is not given the start node, you can pick any node. So let's say we start from zero. So once we start, we put that node into the queue. Okay. And mark that node visited in our visited area. Okay. So we'll put true here. Now, um, <clears throat> We'll take out uh, the element from the queue and uh, print it here. So this is our BFS. So we'll print it here. Okay. So we know the queue is first in, first out. So the element goes into the queue first, comes out first. So um, now we have visited zero. So at this point, we'll put all the nodes which we can traverse from zero into the queue so we'll from zero here we can go to one and we can go to two so we'll put two and one okay uh yeah that's it so now we'll take out and we'll put one and two as visited okay now we'll take out two and put it in the bfs uh, our result and uh, Put all the nodes which we can visit from 2 so from 2 we can visit to 3 so we'll put 3 here mark 3 at, as visited all right mm, yeah from 2 we can we, we cannot go anywhere else now 1 so from 1 we'll take out 1 put 1 here now from 1 we can go to 2 but we have already visited to so we'll skip that okay so that's why we are maintaining the visited array so we have already visited two so we'll skip that and uh, we cannot visit anywhere else from one so now we'll take out the next node which is three and put it here and uh, put the nodes uh, we can traverse from three so that is four and that is five okay so we'll put five and we'll put four mark these two as visited okay and uh, now we'll take out five put five here and uh, from five we cannot go anywhere else so move to the next uh, element take out four print four and from four we can go to zero but zero is already visited we can go to one and one is already visited so at this point our queue is empty all the nodes are visited so this is our final bfs zero two one three and five four okay so let's go back to the uh, problem mm. So let's quickly read the approach for graph we'll use graph as well we'll use the queue for performing the BFS um, we'll use the boolean array to keep track of nodes because unlike tree during traversal we might keep moving into the circles by visiting the same nodes repeatedly okay so and in our example we are using adjacency list so um, 
in our uh, earlier videos we have talked about the graph representation using adjacency list and adjacency matrix uh, here in this example we are using adjacency list i leave the link in the description please visit if needed okay this is another good animation for similar example so this is q this is bfs and once the node is blue that means it is visited okay so let's uh, quickly jump to the code so this is our graph class the number of vertices and the adjacency list um, the constructor the number of vertices and we'll have uh, uh, the same number of uh, uh, adjacency list as the vertices okay so we, we are initializing here and this is our uh, add edge uh, function and uh, we are adding an edge between source and destination so uh, this is a directed graph because we are adding uh, edge from source to destination not from destination to source and this is our bfs okay so bfs we have a, a visited array to keep track of the nodes visited and this is our queue okay so we'll start uh, with uh, uh, by adding these start vertex to the queue so this is we are passing the start vertex so what is the start vertex here we are starting with zero you can pass any other um, vertex you want so here we are starting with zero so we'll add zero and while the queue is not empty take out a node uh, from the uh, from the queue print it mark this and visit it and then visit all the neighbors okay to so to visit all the neighbors we tr will traverse the adjacency list uh, for that particular node and uh, get the neighbor check if the neighbor is already not visited if not add it to the queue and mark it mark that as visited so we are essentially doing what we were doing here okay so once we are done uh, we'll have the bfs okay so this is how we can do the bfs in graph and uh, you can click this button uh, to run the uh, run this code and uh, i leave the link of this article in the description of this video and now we have completed this problem so we'll mark it complete it and yeah visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interesting interview problems we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye